Hello. Uh, in this tutorial, we're, go we're going to uh, disintegrate a character with Maya using a cloud. Here's the effect that we're going to do. Um, uh, here's the dancing. Uh, when he starts to jump, he explodes and falling down. Let's get started. Uh, in Maya, let's open. Uh, a Mocha file that comes with uh, Maya when you install it. If you go to your program files and uh, Maya 2014 installation directory, uh, go to presets, mocap, and examples. There are some biped characters and there are some uh, uh, mocap files. So if you open dance one, here's our character. If we hit play, he is dancing. Probably uh, we're gonna uh, dis dis uh, explode this character in here when he jump. Uh, let's uh, dis disable a joint view in the viewport so we can easily select our character. Uh, let's go to beginning of the f uh, timeline and select all our vertices and shift right click and say speed vertex now all faces become separate and because we didn't uh, remove the history of the geometry there is still uh, animation in it now let's convert this into enclode if we hit play the uh, simulation goes very slow because there's a south collision going on there and also the scene is quite big we have some uh, things to do now let's uh, first decrease the size of the object by uh, decreasing the space scale if you type uh, point 0.1 here you make your uh, geometry in a nucleus scene smaller if you increase this like 10 this uh, character becomes like a godzilla let's type 0.1 and for uh, for the speed of the simulation let's also disable self collision mm, we can uh, activate it later so if you <laughs> play it now now they are uh, falling down with the normal simulation speed okay we want the character move somewhere here and we want him to jump so we need to get that animation from the mocap data so we need to activate input attract mesh input attract mesh takes the animation data from rig or geometry cache and transfer it to the nucleus solver so when you say input attract mesh is 1 and log values of 1 or greater it means if the value of uh, input attract mesh 1 just lock that point it's gonna uh, take the animation data exactly from the rig or animation cache we can uh, decrease the input attract mesh damp to 0 now if you hit play character uh, it's like it doesn't have a uh, include properties uh, okay let's see in which frame he's going to jump uh, like a uh, 32 33 uh, let's animate imp input attract input mesh attract it's in the 13th frame let's uh, uh, hit the set key and up to 3 frames let's make this 0 and see what we get ok now he is uh, exploding uh, we, need we can also give some uh, input motion drag
now we can uh, see the silhouette of the character because uh, we give some drag we can animate this drag also let's set a key here and after 3 or 4 frame let's make this 0 uh, let's uh, remove the uh, air dance today it's gonna give a weird effect let's keep it one because we uh, uh, decrease the size of our enclot object we need to also increase our uh, gravity like 98 now we have a uh, better uh, movement let's create a ground plane and give the passive collider let's give some uh, friction and stickness also for the piece of the character and here Uh, you can give uh, some turbulence or some uh, additional drag to slow the uh, pieces down another uh, cool thing is you can play with rest length scale to make these small pieces become smaller to uh, make this uh, disappear so you can uh, go to like a 74 frame and uh, set a keyframe and then go to a couple of frames later and give a 0.1 rest scale if you hit uh, play you can see the pieces in a certain frame they're gonna become very small and then you can uh, make them completely disappear in your uh, composite package so let's give it a uh, playlist Here are uh, final effect. Uh, you can uh, improve the timing, and you can subdivide your geometry to create more small pieces. Uh, that's all. Thanks for watching.